I'm Nicole Harper with Creating Keepsakes Magazine and today I want to share three easy tips for shopping your pattern paper stash. As scrapbookers we all have little bits and pieces that we can't bear to part with so what better way to put them to use than to help them find their way onto your pages. In this first example I used just a circle punch and some leftover bits that I had to make a banner. All you have to do after you punch out the circles is fold them in half over a piece of twine staple them, and then repeat. After you do that, I just use glue dots to hold them down. If you have a little bit bigger pieces of scraps left over, here's how you can make a two-page layout. As you can see here, we just used pieces from similar colored lines, and all it took was just tucking the edges underneath the photos here, and it really allows you to use up those longer bits that you might not have thought you could use otherwise. But when clustered together, they come together to make a nice two-page layout. Then in our last example, who doesn't have bigger strips of paper left over? Here, this pattern initially looks really complicated, like a fancy quilt. But all this is, is two inch strips of double-sided paper cut into two inch squares and then you cut each square in half on the diagonal from corner to corner. Flip over one of those pieces so that the other side is showing and just glue them down. So just remember, making great scrapbook pages doesn't have to break the budget. These three examples all show you how it doesn't necessarily take a large piece of paper to make a big impact on your page. So the next time you're stumped, look back through your pattern paper stash and you just might see things in a whole new light.